This clip is going to study the renin angiotensin aldosterone mechanism. So we're going to look at the mechanism that uh, kicks up in order for the body to regulate and maintain its blood pressure. And so uh, let's start this journey. So the first thing that um, is going to stimulate activation of this renin angiotensin aldosterone mechanism is any drop in blood pressure. So as you know, your body has many homeostatic mechanisms and maintaining blood pressure is just one of them. And so in response to a drop in blood pressure and anything um, such as bleeding can trigger uh, a drop in blood pressure, maybe dehydration, right? So any kind of stimulus that will um, lower blood pressure is going to stimulate blood pressure receptors that we call baroreceptors. And so these baroreceptors are found in the aorta and the carotid arteries, but what they're going to do is they detect this drop in blood pressure and they're able to send a message to the brainstem in order to activate sympathetic uh, nervous system fibers. And so this is what's going to start and uh, trigger the ren renin-angiotensin aldosterone mechanism. Right, so let's look at um, the specific steps. So the first thing that the sympathetic nervous system is going to do is it's going to stimulate the kidneys to produce an enzyme that we call renin. And the kidneys are going to produce renin, and renin acts to convert what we call angiotensinogen, and this is uh, found in the blood, converts it into angiotensin 1. Okay, and so angiotensin 1 is produced and it is then going to be converted into angiotensin 2. So a few uh, more amino acids are split up and so this is going to produce angiotensin 2. Okay. And so we actually have an enzyme that is responsible for producing um, angiotensin 2. And so this is actually called ACE. Stands for angiotensin converting enzyme. And we have that in the lungs as well as the kidneys. All right, so ACE is responsible to convert angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. And so here is where you really want to pay attention because angiotensin 2, um, we're going to study four of its effects. And as you know, any negative feedback homeostatic mechanism needs to oppose or negate right, the initial stimulus. So we are looking for four different mechanisms of action that are going to increase, to, uh, increase blood pressure in order to reverse it. So the first thing that angiotensin 2 is going to do is vasoconstriction. Okay, and so you know what vasoconstriction means, right? So it means that the smooth muscles, smooth muscles in the walls of the blood vessels are going to constrict, and this is going to decrease the diameter of the blood vessel. When the blood vessel diameter decreases, this is going to increase blood pressure. Right, because the blood is going to have a narrower diameter to pass through, so blood pressure will increase. The second effect that angiotensin 2 has is it's going to stimulate the adrenal cortex to release aldosterone. And aldosterone is a hormone, um, part of the endocrine system, that's where we learned it first. So here we're going to see that aldosterone is going to be released by the adrenal cortex. And um, if you remember a little bit about aldosterone, it has a few functions, um, such as sodium and water retention. Okay, so the target organ of aldosterone is the kidney. Okay, so the kidney um, is going to reabsorb water and sodium. The third effect that angiotensin is going to elicit is yet another hormone is going to be stimulated and this time it's antidiuretic hormone, ADH, secreted by the posterior pituitary. Okay. 
All right, so the posterior pituitary, a very important endocrine gland, and um, that's going to uh, release ADH. And again, ADH is also going to act on the kidneys in order to retain water. All right, and so both of those hormones, by increasing water and sodium reabsorption, this again is going to increase blood pressure. And so fourth is that the release of angiotensin II is actually going to stimulate thirst. So you're going to feel thirsty, right? And that is going to trigger water consumption. So encourage water intake. Right? And that again will increase blood pressure. All right, and so there you have it. This is the mechanism that um, is going to ensure that your blood pressure is going to um, go up in response to a drop in blood pressure.